Hello and welcome. My name is Kyle for the win and welcome to another M Minecraft video. Today we are back with another episode of my Sky Block series or s yeah, Sky Block series. And in the last video we got a ton of stuff done. We got ourselves our beautiful cobblestone generator and we basically extended our cactus farm a little bit and just made a lot more progress here in the series. And hopefully we can just make a ton more progress this episode. And let's go ahead and get into it. So this episode we're going to do a lot of mining and as well as well we're gonna break down this giant giant tree and see what can happen there but I'm very very happy because we've been making a lot of progress on this series which is just super super nice because as you guys know I was getting kind of frustrated with it in the last video or in the last couple of episodes and it's super 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 cool that we are able to you know, get more stuff done, especially because we have that cobblestone generator, which is basically very, very easy, very, very quick money, which is just absolutely fantastic. Goodbye, woodblock. Goodbye, you will be missed. But this episode, as I said, we're going to do some mining. I'm going to break down this tree very, very, very quickly. But yeah, it's just super, super cool that we are now making progress. I still have, are, am not positive if we can actually fight the wither boss or not within this series but we may be able to but we're, we're a very long way out from that anyways even if we wanted to fight him today we obviously couldn't so that's neither here nor there but just want to break down this whole tree see if we can is that all broken now nope there's one more piece there's one more piece which i'm gonna have to try and scoot out to get now as you can see in the chat during this during these episodes there's like people that are like communicating and stuff like that and like making m making deals and bargains and stuff and i'm not i don't know how to do that or how to access that area it's kind of unknown to me at the moment how to exactly do that but one thing i wanted to check very very quickly is I wanted to check how much we could get for iron. Because if you guys remember last episode, we actually got ourselves some iron, which is just going to be, which is very, very cool because our cobblestone generator over there gives us more than just $275, $138 to sell. That's amazing, actually, being that we already have two pieces there. And we don't even have to buy coal because we have wood. What the frick? We have wood, which basically... Oh, yeah, I keep pressing the wrong button. Whoops. Uh, what was that white block, though? The frick? But we have wood, which can basically smelt things for us. So, for example, if I put a piece of wood in there, probably two pieces, we can go ahead and put that in there, and that'll turn into two pieces of, of iron, which is awesome. So, we're going to go ahead and go mining right now. See what we can get. Now, we can't play AFK mine. Like, we can't AFK mine. So you have to like go and grab it every single time, which is really annoying because of that stupid, whatever it is, the unlimited bobbing or whatever it's called, which is just really, really annoying. Actually, honestly, I'm going to go into the settings and see if I can find a way to turn that off because that's been really annoying. It's been really bothering me for like, there we go, auto jump off. Thank goodness. It's been really bothering me for like... In my other series and in this series. I'm sick. I'm tired of it. It's really annoying. Damn. Nice. Piece of coal. Damn. Damn. Damn, it keeps going away. Come on. More iron. Nice. Nice. No. All right, perfect. We're not AFK mining anymore. That was that's about what happened last episode. You were AFK mining. And the servers was getting mad at us. So, dang it. Dang it, it keeps burning away.
Oh, crap. We fell into the water. I would like some more iron, but we're not getting iron at all. We got one piece of iron. Nice. I'm not sure how the leveling up system works. Like, if... By leveling up, you basically get... The ability to, like... Get better items from mining? I'm not really sure how the leveling up works, but... I, I looked on YouTube and I couldn't find a single video that, like... Explained how this... Server works. Did I grab that piece of iron? Okay, thank goodness. That showed how Skyblock worked in this game, basically. Or if you could, like... If it was just a buy sell type of thing, or if you could actually like fight fight a boss, I'm not really sure. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what those levels mean or exactly. And none of the videos I saw was like an explanation type of video that like showed you. Oh, if you if you do this, you will. You know, if you level up, you'll be able to get you know better better items from mining and stuff like that it doesn't say that on, on anything i saw but maybe i have to go on like the lemon cloud server discord or something like that to actually find out for sure but yeah i didn't i didn't see anything which was kind of interesting but i think we're doing things right you know i'm not really sure exactly what these level leveling up mean i think it just i think it's just a showing of like how much progress you're making basically so damn Okay, I need to stop doing that. I think it'll just come to me automatically. Yeah, it is. So, I don't know why I'm moving so much. Actually, I do know why I'm moving so much, because they were getting mad at me last episode, remember? They are like, you're AFK mining. You're, you're not doing what we want you to do, or something like that. That's kind of weird, but I guess people have been like, have like, just stood in one spot and like, taped something onto their controller and just mined forever. But obviously that would make sense if they're like having issues with people, you know, people AFK mining. Basically just doing this. But then again, like you couldn't, I don't know. But they don't like it when you AFK mine, so it's understandable. Okay, would it actually be in a, our best interest to actually make iron tools I don't really see a point in all honesty I think money seems more important at the moment than anything else alright let's go ahead and break all this down all this wood is unfortunately going to drop all the way down which kind of sucks but whatever it's all good there we go, let's place that sapling in there. And our trees are growing, which is absolutely fantastic. Lots and lots of progress we're making in this episode, which is good. Or in this series, basically. Ooh, yep, luckily I made more axes. Keeps going to my first slot, not the slot I thought it would be in, but that's okay. Okay, nice. Oh, I think that skill is going up because we're uh, smelting stuff, I think. Yeah, I'm kind of curious how we go and, like, look at other people's areas and, and islands and stuff. Yeah, I think that... Yeah, okay, I think that new skill is basically indicating that we're uh, smelting stuff. Which is pretty cool. Alright, nice. That tree grew as well. Now, I assume... That some more of these... That's the, some saplings are going to drop. And that tree's not growing because... This tree is actually in the way. But I honestly think that we'll probably just upgrade to stone tools for the time being. Because we have an unlimited of that, basically. Which is really, really cool. So... That is awesome. But yeah, again, I'm, I'm hoping that... We can... Fight the Wither Boss. That would be really, really cool, but... I guess the, really the only test to that is to actually go to the Nether. 
and see what happens in the nether if we can even go to the nether because that's kind of a, a a wonder in my head like can we even go to the nether that's something that i'm not positive about about at all when it comes to skyblock especially because it's on a server and i and i feel like maybe they don't let you fight the boss because they don't want you to crash the server or something but i mean if if we can't fight the wither boss obviously we're, we're going to go to the nether and take a look but if we can't fight the wither boss oh and there i go luckily we just teleport back which is kind of nice that that they don't kill you in this but yeah so i'm kind of i'm not really sure exactly how if we can actually can fight it or not but we're just gonna have to see what happens when when it happens i guess so all right, let's go ahead and sell some stuff, I'm thinking. So, <clears throat> I don't know why my voice keeps doing that, but let's go ahead and grab that. Perfect. Can I place this? I knew I, I knew I couldn't. So, let's go ahead and sell some stuff. I'm thinking we should just sell a load of this wood that we have and both pieces of iron that we have just because I, f yeah, yeah, we're going to do that. But let me grab, let me grab this iron out of here first. And now let's go back to the shop. And now we'll go over here. There we go. And we'll go ahead and sell. Uh, no, cancel. Go ahead and sell. For $825? Whoa. Whoa. That's pretty dang good. Not gonna lie. That is pretty dang good. Alright, now let's go ahead and sell all of our wood. Uh, sell all for 108 and we're up to $1,000 woohoo first time up to $1,000 since the beginning of the episode let's go ahead and actually let me let me go ahead and set a cobblestone rule as well once again we'll, we'll have this be our cobblestone rule cobblestone row we're gonna have 32 cobblestone at all times there we go and now we can sell all of that as well perfect so we'll go ahead and sell all of that for three or cobblestone is only one dollar not really worth selling but we'll sell it nonetheless because you know what? it never hurts because we have unlimited of it but now that we have one thousand dollars let's go ahead and head over here buy myself a, a piece of sand there we go left click to buy we'll just buy one confirm and there we go all right let's go ahead and bring this over here place that piece of cactus there and boom our cactus farm is making progress now we have more more sugar cane perfect Ooh, yep another sapling fantastic saplings are super 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 important let me go ahead and get rid of that and i'm actually going to keep i'm going to keep the sugar cane right now okay what oh i guess those potatoes aren't fully grown yet so we'll just place those in there like that wow potatoes are not a very good food source not at all unless you unless you cook them which is understandable okay nice all right, we'll go ahead and plant these. But now, but with the money that we have, a thousand dollars, which is pretty damn crazy, uh, we're gonna do a little bit, a little bit more mining. Just very, just for a little bit. But yeah, I was gonna do some. I was gonna do some AFK stuff, but I just, I just forgot to do it. But it, it, I don't think it really matters too much. I kind of want to break the rest. I kind of want to break or mine until this is broken. No. Okay, luckily, I don't think that mattered too much. I think we'll just place that back down there. And then we'll just continue on mining. I can see why iron is so rare, though. Dang it, that just burned up. I 
Actually, you know, I think it might be just a good idea to when we, whenever we get a ton of cobblestone to just sell it all. Because if we, if we're like, oh, I need a, I need a stone pickaxe or a stone sword or a stone whatever, just go ahead and head over here, and grab three pieces, because it seems like the most rare or the most common is cobblestone, obviously, because they don't want to like spam you with iron, make you super super rich super super quick. But I actually want to check the store very, very briefly and just see, like, what we can get with $1,000. Like, I'm not going to spend all $1,000 outright. That would be kind of a waste, but... Dang it, that coal burned up. Damn it. How do I get things to not burn up? Do I just stand right here really close to it? No, that burned up too. Blocks, why do you have to do that? Okay, stop. Stop burning up. Nice, okay, cool. Alright, I think we finally got it figured out a little. Perfect. Alright, and it broke. Perfect, okay. Alright. Alright. Now I'm going to throw this iron in here, like so. And I'm going to take a look at the shop very briefly. Just to take a look at what we can get for $1,000. So, okay, probably not any of that. Mob drops. Diamond is $1,000, so we're not going to do that, though. Don't worry. Um, Gunpowder. Let's see. Ender pearls. I wonder how you get ender pearls if you can't buy them. Hmm... I wonder. Actually, how much is a spawner? A lot of money. I was like, wait a minute, how much? I thought a spawner was about a thousand, but it's way, way more than that. So obviously we can't buy that. Those blocks aren't really necessary. Hmm. Why would you buy a heart of the sea? It just doesn't make any sense. Okay, farming. Saplings are $1,000 as well. And that actually raises a very interesting question because... I'm not going to do that though. Not yet. Not yet anyways. But I think at one point, I am going to buy jungle trees because they can get absolutely massive. And a massive tree equals a lot of wood. And I know that wood isn't very, uh, very expensive or... Yeah, they're only three, so every piece of wood you can sell for three, but imagine like we have a ton of jungle trees, and we can sell those for three, but one tree can give us like 30 or 40 pieces. Then, in that case, we could just do very, very well for ourselves, basically, so that's something that I have in mind first for some point soon, but I think what I'm going to prioritize right now is getting myself an unlimited water source, because... We've been trying to get into freaking unlimited water source forever. I think I'm going to go ahead and just buy four of those just so that we don't mess up. And we have the money to do so, finally, which is kind of nice. It's taken us a very long time to actually be able to do that. But we need myself some wood. This is always why I save 32 pieces. There we go, four. And then I'll place that in like so. Grab that 19. That should be enough, I'm thinking. I think that should be enough to go ahead and make this an unlimited water source because all we need to do basically is just move this out and make it make it four wide basically that's i think that that was the problem in the last episode when i tried to make an unlimited water source because if this is standing water automatically we have ourselves an unlimited water source and i think that was the problem with the last episode is that we weren't because look, now I can just grab water from here forever, I believe. And now we're, we have an unlimited water source, which is absolutely fantastic, I think. Yes, we do. I knew it. I knew that was the reason that we weren't getting an unlimited water source, is because I would, I would, it, it, it wasn't standing water, basically. That's why it wasn't an unlimited water source. And because it was, I think it was too short as well. So that's probably part of it. But now we have an unlimited water source, which is absolutely fantastic. So now that is standing water. Now we can make this standing water. I'm not sure standing water has an impact on, you know, on how this goes. But 
nonetheless, I think it will really, really help. So now what I'm going to do with think, 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 I'm trying to think of what I want to do here. I, I kind of want to extend my farm a little bit because we're kind of a little cramped here. We're kind of a little bit cramped with how things are going with this. So I'm thinking maybe we should buy myself some, some dirt and kind of hmm, just trying to figure out how what I want to do here. I think I'm going to go back behind my like little house area there and go that way, go over there with a just a ginormous, 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 ginormous uh, melon farm. Yeah, let's give that let's give that a go. Let's give that a go for a second. I'm gonna grab this piece of iron. I'm gonna go ahead and sell that straight away. Um, where's that? Go ahead and sell. Perfect. There we go. Back up to 847. And can we actually sell a water bucket? I'm kind of curious. I, I doubt it, but yeah, we can't. I was going to say, we. Why would, why would we be able to sell that? It would be cool if we could sell buckets though, but unfortunately not. Now, all right, I just want to see how far we'd have to go out. So we'd have to go. All right, let's just, I'm just going to grab 10 pieces of dirt so that we can kind of, actually, I'm going to buy myself one grass block. And then I'm going to go, actually going to cancel that. And then I'm going to go over to the dirt. Then I'm going to buy nine pieces of that. Actually, we'll just buy an even 10. Why not? We have the money to do so. And then I'm going to, oh, there it is. It went into that. So the reason for the grass block, simply enough, is grass. So I have more grass. So what I want to do very briefly is actually, I'm going to get rid of this. Actually, you know what? I'm, t I'm tired. Of I'm tired of these wood tools. I am tired of these wood tools. It's time to upgrade. There we go. I'm just sick and tired of, of these wood tools taking a million years to mine anything. All right, there we go. Perfect. All right, nice. Now, I mean, we really don't need a house. I'm not, I'm not sure why I built a house to begin with. I mean, we, as I said, I, we wasted five pieces of sand right there for no apparent reason. And we're actually going to relocate this as well. Because we can, of course. Uh, there we go. There's my wood pick. I wonder how much faster a wood pick is than a normal, than a normal, than just breaking it with your hands. Obviously, it's a little bit more efficient, but all right. Then I'll go ahead and break this. And there we go. All right, nice. So I'll pl place that there. Now this can be the start of our. Of our farm so I'm just gonna grab some of this gonna break gonna get away from that a little bit and I think we'll start it okay goodbye wooden axe we'll start it right here I think yep we'll start it here although that raises a question actually you know what that's fine that's perfect actually I wanted I wanted a piece that went under so okay perfect I have someone right here Oh yeah, that was a slab, wasn't it? Okay. <clears throat> Let's just go ahead and do that very, very quickly. Grab these slabs, and then what we can do is we can make this go like so. Uh, let me get back up. We can go like that. And now, what we can do is I wanted to have it start here, right? So we'll have... we'll have our grass block go here that may look a little bit weird right now that looks very weird actually but that's okay we'll just do that and then we'll go ahead and grab the next piece of dirt go over here like this yep like that and what we'll do is we'll come over here place a piece of dirt down there hopefully and then we'll just extend this this way a bit but I just realized 
while doing this that we actually need we actually need to have two rows of dirt going that way because that's how melons work basically so let me just go ahead and head to the store very quickly actually let me check out how many dirt how much dirt we actually need so we need Ooh, actually let me I can, I'll just place some wood th place some wood here temporarily come on give me that back and now what we'll do is now we need actually we only have four melon seeds right so we'll just do one two and then one two for now so we just need four pieces of dirt which I don't which I think is gonna be a hundred bucks which isn't too bad at all. So let me go ahead and do that very quickly. Buy myself four pieces of dirt. Perfect. Confirm. And nice. So now we can do that, that. And that, that. So now let me go ahead and place this, place something at the end of here so that the water doesn't just go flooding out. There we go. Now what we'll do. Actually, wait a minute. Crap, I just realized if I break that that grass block. If I break that glass, grass block, it will turn into dirt. Just regular dirt, which is kind of unfortunate, but... Oh, well. There's Kyle again, not thinking before he does. Whatever, it's fine. Not No big deal. This is supposed to just turn into a melon farm anyway, so... Head back over here. Gonna grab that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. I'm so happy that we have an unlimited water source finally. That that should have been... So basically how, how this series should have gone is we should have gotten ourselves... We should have gotten ourselves an unlimited water source and then gotten ourselves a cobblestone generator and things would have gotten a lot more quick and a lot more smooth. But now, now we're kind of, now we're kind of getting it. Whoops. I didn't, didn't, didn't mean to do that. Now things are going a lot more smooth. I'm actually going to break and there goes the water rushing out, but that's okay because I want, I want the lemon mel the lemons the melons to grow on th these pieces of dirt not grow over there on that piece of dirt basically so but i think you actually actually i think what will stop that is just placing wood i think i think that should stop it if i'm not mistaken so but let's see let's see if that sh if that idea worked but i'm gonna go ahead and build some more gonna have to build go ahead and build some more of these of these slabs because we need to surround our cactuses with four or four wide because you know my cactuses like to fall off the world which isn't very fun so all right let's just go ahead and move that over here like that move that over here like that there we go and now i just used all my dirt <laughs> that's not good but that's actually it doesn't really matter we can, because we can just grab that, place some cobblestone, I wanted it to be separated by two, so we'll just place a piece of cobblestone there, piece of cobblestone there, and now we'll go ahead and head back into the store very, very quickly, grab ourselves some sand, grab ourselves two pieces of sand, one, two, confirm, and let's move that over there, oh wow, we actually we have three pieces of sand, that's alright. Might have been a little bit of a waste. Potentially could have been a little bit of a waste, but... That piece of sand will come in handy later, and I fell off the world again. Goodbye! Goodbye! Luckily, we just spawn right back in. Thank goodness. I like that a lot, that we just spawn back in, and we don't actually die and lose a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, we grabbed that. Perfect. I'm, I'm so scared that my cactus is just going to fly off the world again, like it did in the last episode. If you guys missed that last episode, <gasps> it almost fell off. I will leave that link down below in the description, but I think we have been recording for plenty of time. So there we go, guys. That is going to do it for another episode of my hardcore, of my hardcore, of my Skyblock series here on the channel. We got a lot done this episode. We are slowly but surely making a ton of progress. Our melons are growing very, very nicely. We have trees growing. We have ex 
a cactus farm that's growing nice and easily. We have ourselves a beautiful cobblestone generator, and we're making a lot of progress, and that makes Kyle very happy. But basically, what we accomplished in this episode is we got ourselves an unlimited water source, which is very, very important, of course, for obvious reasons. Because now we don't have to ever buy a water bucket ever again, because we have a thousand buckets on our inventory, which is very, very good. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you didn't make sure to like, subscribe if you are new, be sure to check out all my other previous Skyblock videos, which will be linked in the playlist in the description, as well as if you want to check out my hardcore Minecraft series, that will also be on the channel as well. I upload that every other day as well. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys on another Minecraft video very, very soon.